Hi there, it's Jeff. Um, in this little quick video, I'm going to be going through a couple little uh, biscuit joining tips and tricks that I use, uh, especially for carcass building. Um, these biscuits uh, and the biscuit joining techniques are really great for hiding um, screws and so on. If you don't want to show screws and caps on the side of your cabinet or, or fillers and stuff like that, or end, end panels, I should say. Um, biscuit joining is the way to go. It's really great because it hides all your uh, you need for screws and so on you can clamp it and glue it into place and it comes really super strong so keep watching and I'll show you um, the way that I do things when it's constructing especially if you've got like middle shelves and stuff which can be a little bit tricky to biscuit and I'll even share with you a little joinery tip that we use when your biscuits are a little bit tight so let's get going okay biscuits and biscuit joining in particular these, uh, this type of joining is really, really great, especially when you want to uh, hide your joint and you don't want any visible screws and capping on the outside of your joinery. And this comes in handy, especially when you've got um, standalone pieces of furniture that you're making, uh, bookshelves, uh, sides of your, of your cabinets, uh, if you don't want to end panel on them or stuff like that. So um, yeah, these are really, really really handy and they're also good for doing um, joints in butt joints if you wanted to join two pieces together um, now there's 101 uses for biscuit joints so I won't go into but really great now I'm going to share with you a couple of tips that I use um, when I'm doing biscuit joints and I'm going to show you actually how I um, use my biscuit jointing machine and it doesn't matter what machine you've got what brand but I'm going to show you how I actually do my biscuit joints in some um, familiar scenarios. So like firstly this one here where you're doing, uh, this, this might be simulating that's your bottom of your, of your cabinet or your carcass and this would be your side and you wanted to, to join that side there and you didn't want any uh, visible screws on the outside here or caps, you just wanted it uh, nice and clean without any uh, visible screws. Uh, again, this could be numerous uh, examples there that you could use. Um, one that comes to mind, which I did recently, was shaving cabinet. And you know, you didn't instead of having another end panel to hide those screws, you know, you could actually biscuit your, your cabinet together. So I'm going to show you firstly how I biscuit um, and now how I set up my machine to do this. And the next one I will do, I've drawn. Uh, a couple of lines here of where I would simulate if I wanted a shelf put in. So say for example that is going in there as a shelf. Um, now that one can be a little bit tricky um, on how to if you wanted to if you wanted to biscuit that in, in as well how to do that and I'll give you a couple of ways that you can do that um, to not only just biscuit it in but to also if you wanted to slip that shelf in later on, like after you've assembled the cabinet, so on site, for example. And some of these uh, scenarios could be to save weight as well. You've got to think about the weight of these uh, items or cabinets when you are transporting or putting them in on site. You know, if this was a, a tall bookcase or something like that, and you had a lot of shelves that had to slip in or, or biscuit in, it, it makes the actual carcass really heavy and it might be an option to actually slip those slip and glue those shelves in on site after you've uh, hung the, the cabinet up, hence why you could do some of these joints, which I'll, show, I'll, I'll go into after. So firstly, I'm going to show you how we do this uh, joint on the bottom here, and then we'll get into the shelf and a few other tricks. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is show you this uh, simple joint here. So you've got a, simulating this is your, your cabinet bottom, and you've got a side. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, these biscuits, they're, they're size 20, so these come in various sizes. Uh, the most common one is this 20, which you'll use the most. Um, I've got my biscuit joiner, now like I said, this doesn't matter what brand of biscuit, jo uh, biscuit joiner that you have, uh, but I usually keep this in this flat position. Now you, can, uh, you do have the option of this folding over and putting it in a different position. Uh, over your job instead when you're doing your biscuit joints but I make this flat which I'm going to show you how I use it in this configuration here as well. Now the uh, biscuits um, we're going to have biscuits coming through on this surface here on the on the end of your bottom and on the side here so 
that's where you, probably some of you might think, how do I get the biscuits on here with the biscuit joiner, which I'm going to show you how I, how I do that. And one thing that I do use and, and recommend just quickly make up is just a, a 90 degree uh, block here. It's just two pieces screwed together. I've got the X marks here, which is where I will put my piece. And that's going to help me when I go to do the biscuits on my side piece. I'm going to put that there, if you can see that. Yeah. So I'm going to put that there like that. And then I will run my biscuit machine in that way, which, like I said, it's the advantage of putting, leaving this flat. So I do both components with the, with the biscuit joiner in that configuration, which you'll see. So uh, the first thing you do is put your pieces together roughly, and you can make a couple of marks in your pieces of where you want the biscuits. In this one here, I would say just probably put, just put your biscuits in place, see where you want to put them. And two, as you can see, there's going to be plenty. So what you want to do next is mark the center of those. Okay, so say for example, I want my biscuits there. I'm just going to put a little mark in the center of the biscuit on both pieces. Doesn't have to be really Cool, just as long as you've got a bit of, little bit of a guide. And that's all that is, just a little bit of a guide of where those biscuits are going to um, be put into the pieces. Okay, so with those marks on my end piece here, I'm just going to, that line that I'm, that little marker, I'm just gonna transfer and square a line a little bit up there. And this will, be, this will help me line it up when I do my, my biscuit joiner like that. So let's do the bottom first. I've got my two little marks there. And what we're going to... a flat part of your bench or something. And you want to make sure that this is not going to move on you. So I'm going to put a couple of clamps. So I'm going to use this part of my bench. It's flat. And I'm going to put a couple of clamps on here. Okay. And you want to be making sure that you can use your biscuit joiner there. Okay. Now, okay, so I've got my mark on here. I've got my biscuit joiner. They're both on a flat surface. And it's just a matter of marking, of lining up your line there with the mark on here. So as you can see there. Now, another little tip that what I'm going to share with you, what I do, is when I, when I plunge this biscuit jointer into, the, into the, my board here, after I've done that, plunge, I'm going to move it over a couple of millimetres to the right and then a couple of millimetres to the left. And what that does is that just gives you a little bit more play when you go to put your biscuit in there, a little bit of play in it. So when you go to put your glue and you, and you glue it up, you've just got that little bit of uh, extra room to move in case you do need to uh, concentrate on getting your edges flush. Alright, so I'm going to plunge into here and do that method and uh, just sit back and watch in this one. Okay, now we're just going to line up the biscuit joiner with the mark here and on here, like that. Okay, so we've got our first uh, joint done with the biscuits, uh, that going there. So then it's just a matter of putting your biscuits in place. And you'll see that that should line up perfectly now 
in that position. Now it's just a matter of getting that level, and if you cannot, that should be right. So there's our joint number one, just a simple end joint with that biscuits. Now, next scenario, if you wanted to have a shelf here, say this was the end of your cabinet here, you don't want any, again, you don't want any visible screws showing or caps on the end, so we're gonna do the secret biscuits, which is the great thing about these. Um, and that was going in that position there. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is just mark each component. Now, this is really important because this can get very confusing doing these biscuits. And um, so the first thing I'm going to do on the shelf itself, I'm going to put teeth and I'm going to put the top on the side there as well. So that lines up with top, top of our shelf, top of this joint here as well. Uh, the next thing you can do, we'll pull this apart again. Is if we place this in position. You can mark roughly where you want some dowels, uh, sorry, some biscuits again. So probably another one there. I'll mark the center of that. Another one around about there. A okay, couple so little marks where we want the biscuits, not dowels. Uh, and then, so we know with this one here, we're gonna be placing, placing this one flat on the bench and going in with our biscuit machine again. So this is the bottom. So that means on this component here, the biscuit machine needs to be on the bottom line going in, which I'll show you what I mean. It probably sounds a bit confusing, but we'll, let's do this one first, and then we'll move on this one I'll show, and this is where that you're gonna need that right angle little clamp jig device that you're gonna need for this to, for your uh, board to sit on for your, your uh, biscuit machine. So let's do that one next. Okay, so we've just done the slots for our shelf and that's the position that it needs to go in there, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to do the biscuits from the back. So this is where the clamp comes in place and you wanna put this in that position, okay, where that goes. Roughly, I'm gonna clamp that down but just to show you. So the you need to line this up with the bottom of your shelf, that shelf line, and then the biscuit joiner will come down, rest on the back of this and do the slots. And then that should line up with your shelf. So let's clamp this into place and we'll do these next. Okay, so what I've done is my marks on top of my shelf. I've just transferred those lines across here and that's just using a bit of scrap like that just bring them across right now it's just going to be as a reference for my biscuit machine to line up in the center and then we're going to go down and put the slot Okay, I'm just putting this back together just to show you. Uh, now we've just done the slots in where that shelf would be going. Just gonna put a couple of biscuits in there. Uh, 
and this would be simulating our shelf that would be going in here. Just to show you how that lines up, that works well. Now, the other thing you could do, if you wanted this shelf um, to actually, uh, if you wanted to build a carcass or cabinet, and you had multiple shelves and you wanted to put them in on site or when the, when the cabinet's in position, um, the, you basically, with this slot that we've done here, you could continue that slot all the way along and then you, uh, leave those biscuits into place there, uh, glue them, put them in, put glue, put glue in your slot and you could actually slide that shelf in from the front into position. I've actually done that before myself in another uh, job that I was doing in a bookshelf uh, because the, the shelves were actually made out of 25mm MDF. So this whole unit was very heavy and I didn't want to glue them and, and biscuit them in position and then take them onto the site. It was just too heavy. So I was actually putting them in that way. And also in, my, in, my, in the back of this cabinet as well, you could actually do the same thing, just line it all up and put biscuits on the back and so the whole shelf slots in with glue and um, it's quite stable that way. So you could actually make that slot all the way across and, and slide that through again. Okay, I just wanna share a little tip with you, a pro tip with you guys with these biscuits. Now, because they're just mass produced, uh, sometimes the, the thicknesses of them can vary. They generally are, I'm going, to, I'm going to measure this. So this one's saying about almost four millimeters. And that slot is generally around about three, three and a half millimeters from the blade of the biscuit machine. So sometimes you may find these biscuits are really tight to put in. Okay, so as you can see, that one there is really tight. And so you've got to factor in as well, you're going to need to put glue in that slot, then put this in. So if you do find these are a little bit tight, I'll show you what to do next. Just get your ball pane hammer. Okay, so just get your hammer. Just on the, on the concrete floor is fine. Just give it a few hits and it'll just compress that biscuit a little bit better. And you'll see when you go to put it back into the slot, that fits a lot more, more comfortable now. So with your glue in there, that should be, should be a lot better. So if you do find your biscuits a little bit tight, just put them on the floor, hit them with your hammer, just to compress them a little bit, and you'll be fine. Okay, well there you go, just a couple of little tricks uh, with biscuits. They can be a little bit tricky, uh, especially getting your biscuit machine going onto your material the right way. But just make sure you mark your components like I showed you, top so it doesn't, doesn't get confusing. Um, uh, it's good to make yourself something like this little uh, backing board here, this little jig, 90 degrees, so you can rest um, your material when you are doing your biscuits. If you're doing like these uh, shelves that are going in the center or something like that. Um, otherwise, it does get a little bit hard to do it just straight down. Just, it's just a guide to, for it to back onto and just to keep it a bit more stable. But yeah, look, keep in mind, if you do have to um, build your cabinets a little bit on site because of weight wise or you know, maneuverability, I know the cabinets start to get heavy. This is only uh, melamine, particle board type of thing. But when it is um, in MDF, a more dense material, and you've got thicker material as well, um, it does get real weighty as well and heavy. So that could be a logistic problem, you know, getting it on the site, you know, if it's all constructed and glued. Whereas sometimes you can get away with, you know, doing these slots and slotting these, you know, some of the features or the components on site to save you a bit um, of the weight. But yeah, biscuits, really good for hiding your, your, your screw in, without having screw in joints, just so you don't want to see any ending on the sides here. Um, they're good for hiding things like that. Glue them in place, clamp them, happy days. Well, that just about wraps up this video on, uh, on biscuit joints here and some of the little tips and tricks that we use. Hope you liked this video. If you did, press like, share, 
and hopefully I'll see you in one of my next videos.